seeds. All the builders' tools are silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy house, wives seize their labors. In the court room, no debate. Work on earth is all suspended. As the king comes through the gate, oh, the king is coming, the king is coming, I just heard the trumpet sounding and now his face i see oh the king is coming yes the king is coming praise god he is coming for me, oh yes, happy faces line the hallways, those who lie have been redeemed, broken homes that he has mended, those from prison he has freed, little children and the age hand in hand stand all aglow who were crippled broke and ruined glad in garments white as snow oh the king is coming the king is coming I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. Oh, the king is coming. Yes, the king is coming. Praise God. He is coming for me. Oh, yes. Oh, the king is coming. Yes, the king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding and now his face i see oh the king is coming yes the king is coming praise god he is coming for me we praise jesus everybody hallelujah come on and magnify the name of the lord hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. he's a mighty god on tonight amen he is worthy to be praised hallelujah father in the name of jesus i thank you this night for your goodness and your mercy I thank you, God Almighty, for allowing us, oh God, to be able to gather together in this manner and on a platform such as this, dear Father. We are asking you in the name of Jesus, oh God, to throw your weight around on tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm asking you, God, to encourage, to lift, to empower, Lord God, your people, to set us on fire, dear Lord, to bring us into a deeper consciousness, a deeper relationship with you, Lord Jesus. As we recognize, oh God, the times that we are living in their father 
I pray, God, that we'll take a grip and we will hold on to your hand in the name of Jesus and that we, your people, God, will stand flat-footed, not moving. We bind every works, every plot, every plan, every ploy, every scheme, every tricks of the enemy. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ, oh God, over the airways now. In the name of Jesus, we cast down, we pull down, ever stronghold tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and I'm asking you, God, to garrison our mind, to sit in our homes, whether we're in our bedrooms, whether we're in our living rooms, oh God, or we may be viewing from the kitchen, we may be in our vehicles, mighty God, but I'm asking you, God, to tabernacle with us tonight. We're asking you, God, to make your presence be known in the name of Jesus. Somebody logged on on tonight, God, desiring a touch, wanting to be in your presence, God. They need a touch from you, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Father, that you meet us tonight. Do what you will, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. Strengthen your people, oh God, by your power in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Come on, if you can, just declare in Jesus' name. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. If you have your Bible, I'm going to ask you to turn with me to Isaiah, the first chapter. Amen. This is the word the Lord gave me a couple weeks ago, and I, I, I received the, the topic and everything, and um, I believe it's an awesome topic that we have to deal with on tonight. Uh, but um, if I'm permitted, I would just love to go according to how the Lord is leading me at this present time. And I want us, amen, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, just to pray, amen, that the Lord will have free course, amen. Uh, preaching is uh, secondary for me. Amen. It is secondary for me. Prayer is my, uh, is what I love to do. I love to pray. I believe as a people of God, if we desire to move in the things of God, we must pray. If we desire to have an encounter with God, we must pray. If we desire amen, uh, to be in total relationship or intimacy with God, we must pray. The Bible declares that the Lord, he reveals his secrets to his friend. And a friend is a person whom you can confide in. A friend is a person who you are in constant communication with. So when we desire to hear from the Lord and we desire a move from God, amen, we have to pray. A move of God, before there is a move, there is also, there have to be communication. A move never occurs until uh, 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 uh until prayer is released in the atmosphere and prayer is the birthing ground of revival. In this season that we are in at this present time, amen, in the season that we are in, in the season that we're in, it is important that we as a people that is named by the name of Christ, that we are able to call upon his name without reservation. Somebody declare without reservation. This is the hour that we must rebuild the altars we must rebuild the altars of prayer. I don't know why the Lord have me going in this direction in uh, at this present time, but I'm just going to flow with it a bit, and then we're going to get to the text uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in this hour and this season that we're living in, uh, prayer must become the first and the last resort. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah to God. Prayer must become the first and the last resort. If we don't pray, we will fall prey to the enemy. If we do not P-R-A-Y, we will fall P-R-E-Y to the enemy. We will become an open 
target, a sitting target uh, for the enemy's arrows and darts uh, to hit us. But when we begin to pray, we are able to move uh, undetected through the systems of this world. Prayer becomes our shield. Prayer become a stealth weapon by which we're able to move forth undetected by the adversary. If we want to see revival, pray the will of God. If we want to see healing, pray the will of God. If we want to see the world turn, pray the will of God. Prayer is the only antidote for what we are going through at this present time. Hello, somebody. Can I declare that one more time? Prayer is the only antidote for what we are facing in this present time. If we don't pray, hallelujah to God, hallelujah to Jesus, what we are seeing and what we are experiencing will become worse. But when we truly begin to pray, bow down before God, Building the altars of prayer, uh, I believe that we will stop the hand of the enemy. Uh, we will intercept, overthrow, derail, dethrone uh, the kingdom of darkness. Uh, prayer uh, may be one of uh, the weapons, uh, hallelujah, that is least used in the body uh, of Christ, uh, but it is one of the most powerful weapons that we can ever use and pull hallelujah from glory be to god from the auctions of god hallelujah it is a silent but deadly weapon i don't have to be in your vicinity to pray but you will feel the effects of my prayers let me say that one more time hallelujah. i don't have to be in jamaica to pray for Jamaica or to pray for my brother that is there. But all I need to do is lift my voice up onto the heavens and begin to echo what I desire to occur according to the word of the Lord and see it happen. Somebody declare prayer is a deadly weapon. Lord, I love you tonight. In the name of Jesus, that is for free. That is for free. That is for free. Amen. Turn to Isaiah, the first chapter. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you're sitting next to somebody, if you're sitting on your settee, hallelujah, if, if, if there's somebody in your home with you, I want you to tap them and say, this is the hour that we must bear down in prayer. Uh, come on and tap them and tell them, this is the hour that we must bear down in prayer. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, verse 18, verse 19, and verse 20. Amen. Verse 18, 19, and 20. When you find it, just say amen or just do an indication. We will read. I'll read in your hearing, and then you will follow thereafter. Father, sit on me tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says... Verse 18, come now and let us reason together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing, Obedient, you shall, come on and declare, I shall, eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, Lord help us, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. Thus far ended the reading of the word of the Lord, and we declare, thanks be to God. Amen. I was a little bit wrestling within my spirit and saying to the Lord, um, I don't know really what you want me to say on tonight. And then he brought me back to the scripture and this message that he allowed me to preach um, a few weeks ago, probably about a week ago. And I said, God, I already declared this word. And the Lord says to me, 
as he often say, you are a messenger. You speak what I tell you to speak. You don't study oh. to find a word to give a people. You study in order for you to grow. Amen, somebody. He said, you are a messenger. And a messenger's responsibility is to convey, hallelujah, the instruction that has been given. So I am here on assignment tonight, a little bit weary in my body, but I'm here on assignment tonight and I'm feeling the help of the Lord on me tonight. Glory be to God. I am here on assignment tonight, amen, to declare what the Lord is saying unto us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want us to declare, hallelujah. I pray with power, hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray with passion. I pray with understanding. I am a lethal weapon in the hand of my God. Hallelujah to God. I pray with power. I pray with passion. I am a lethal weapon in the hand of my God. And for those of you that are taking note, I want you to write, he has my attention. I want you to write that. He has my attention. Hallelujah to God. We are in, we are in, we are in a peculiar season. We're in a time now where it can go right or it can go left. Hello, somebody. Oh, Hallelujah God. to God. We, we oh, are God. able we are able to look and we're able to see. We're able to hear, hallelujah, and even sense in the atmosphere that something is about to break, hallelujah. Even though we are experiencing a pandemic, hallelujah, in the nations of the world, something greater is on the horizon. Uh, hear me, somebody. Hallelujah to God. God has allowed this thing that have hit the nations of the world uh, to happen to put us uh, at a reset somebody say reset reset the lord uh, has called the church uh, hallelujah on to a reset he is setting things uh, back in order the entire world uh, hallelujah the button has been hit uh, and we have been placed on a reset hallelujah somebody now let's look at the definition i want you to take your time make leash let's look at what the definition of reset is we have our attention reset is defined as it's defined as to set to adjust to fix in a new or different way to what to fix in a new or different way to fix in a new why is it that the lord hallelujah is declaring such a word why is it that god is is speaking to us in this manner hallelujah to god because the man's heart and the ways of man have been going about concerning their own thing not about the agenda of the kingdom of god not about the agenda hallelujah of the body of Christ, but about their own self. So God have to allow a matter to happen in the earth to cause us to come back in divine alignment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Isaiah 43 and verse 19 declare, God says, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth and you do not perceive it. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So God says unto us in this reset, hallelujah, since he now have our attention, I am going to put you on my way, in my path. I am preparing you for what is to come. I am calling and I'm giving you the instruction. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to God. Amen. In order for you not to be able to miss. Because if you miss in this season. Then your soul will wind up in the air. But I am oh, doing God. a new thing in you. I am readjusting your mindset. I am readjusting your vision. 
I am readjusting your hearing. I'm readjusting the way how you process. Hallelujah. What you see, what you hear. I want you to be able to hear me and me alone. Somebody declare, you got my attention, Lord. In order for there to be a resurfacing power or emerging of power, there must be a resetting or a rebooting, Lord have mercy, that must occur, that must occur to allow our system, the system, the system, the system to be reset. Let me say that again. When something is not operating to its maximum potential, or when there has been a lot of junk, Lord have mercy, a lot of unnecessary information. And when there have been an overload, Lord have mercy, hallelujah, there have to be a reboot, a reset in order to declutter. Alexander. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And to bring it back into its original state. Hear me, somebody. So God says, I desire to release power, not power to perform, but power to raise the dead. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Power that to change, yeah. to turn the world upside down. Power to grip the heart of man and turn the heart of man back unto me. But in order for me to release the power, there got to be a reset in the body of Christ. Hello, somebody. God have our attention. We have never been praying like this before. But now that we are praying, God is saying, I believe that the body Hallelujah. is getting ready for the body has been reset. The body has been reboot, and I will download my power in them that says, Lord, you got my attention. I will do what you tell me to do, and I'm not looking for no accolades. Hear me, somebody. Hear me in the Holy Ghost. Hmm. God says, I have hit the reboot hmm. button. In the system of the world and the church to get us on the correct operational system. Libo Shatai Kindusha and Abakosia. So many are saying, the Holy Ghost, help me, Lord. Many are saying this pandemic, this COVID 19. Has nothing to do with the church. But can I tell us that this mm. has everything to do with the church? This has everything to do with the body of Christ. This is a telltale sign, Lord of mercy. Now, many can gather the way that we desire together. Lord of mercy, God. When have you seen? Hallelujah, the church gathering on Zoom, on Facebook, or having teleconferences, never before in a manner like this. Hallelujah to God. And God is saying, I have hit the reboot, the reset button, so that I can take the attention from off of man and put it back on me. Lord, have mercy, God. For many a time, he said, I have been speaking, but because man have their own program and man have their own agenda, they did not want to follow through. When I call for prayer, they want concerts. When I call for fasting service, they want to put on banquets. So God is saying, how can we be prepared for battle when we refuse to hear the instruction, when we refuse to go down in prayer and in fasting to hear from the general, the chief in charge, the king of kings, the lord of hosts, in order for us to overcome, Hallelujah. we must be able to hear what thus said the Lord. Yes, the sir. Obedience 
He said, man shall no more have power or dominion. Hallelujah. Praise them. Hallelujah. Praise the name. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, Lord. He says, He says, I God hmm. to happen. It's not witchcraft. I God has allowed it to happen. Lord of mercy, Jesus. Uh, Elder AR on last night, Kilo Shandai. I was going to bed about one o'clock in the morning and I begin to hear the spirit of the Lord begin to echo in my spirit. I begin to hear him said. Oh, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Enlarge thy curtains. Shanda. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Strengthen thy saints. I begin to hear him say, there are many that have been saying that I am not God and I am not alive. We'll be on fire. And he begins, yes, he sir. says, he says to me, it's over 2,000 years now. It was over 2,000 years. He said, when the children of Israel was being oppressed, they cried out. The fear of belief that they did not serve a God. But when the people begin to cry out, I rose up a deliverer. And I sent for the deliverer. Lord of mercy. I rose up my mouthpiece. Lord of mercy. And I sent him forth. To deliver my people. He said I delivered them. Hallelujah. Came in over. Before, before Jesus stepped out of eternity. Oh, people were going around lawless. They were walking about as if there wasn't a God. And yeah. I stepped out of eternity into time. I came to redeem man. He said, look how it is now. Many are saying there's not a God. Many are saying, where is God? He said, look at the time. He said, the time is coming. And I'm about to get ready to put in my appearance. And what is occurring? I have allowed it. Because the church has been sleeping. Yes, Lord. He said we have not been united. How do we expect to win the war? To win the battle? When we are not in communion. Lord have mercy with the Lord of hosts. And when we are not submitted. He said it's time for us to come. It's time for us to enlarge. So he says, I have to reboot. I have to reboot. Hmm. He said, I have to reboot the system by which we're operated in. Man's ideology. Man's program. Man's agenda. We cannot go according to our own agenda if we expect to win the fight. We have to listen to the, 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 the instruction of the general, the strategy of the general. Follow it line upon line in order for us to be able to overcome, to overcome the adversary. It's only when we are united as one we'll be able to overcome the adversary. Hello, somebody. The Lord says, the Lord says the system of man will no longer be in the forefront. The what? The system of man will no longer be in the forefront. The Lord says, I am taking back 
my rightful place in my house. He says, this is a divine reset that has happened in the body of Christ. This means that the Lord is restarting, restoring things that should have been in operational, but have not been in operation because man has been in the forefront. Man has become Lord over God's heritage. The Lord is rebooting us. Somebody declare, he has our attention. He has our attention. He says, I have put away, I have canceled the regular routine, the mandate, and the same old, same old gathering. Now we got to be intentional about our gathering. We got to be purposeful when we gather together. I heard, I think I heard the moderator say, we can't waste no more time. This is not the hour where we waste time. Mandi Oshai. This is not the hour where we play church, where we where we have one foot in and one foot out. Lord have mercy, God. This is not the hour where we struggle the fence. The Bible said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Glory be to God. This is not the hour where you try to dip here and then come into the church and play games. Now the pastor can't really see yeah. you because most of us won't be able to go to church. So it's now between you and God. The pastor and the chief discerner in the church won't be able to discern because we are not in the same vicinity. We are now in our homes. We can't have Bible class hallelujah, in the temple as we love to. We can't have prayer meeting in the temple as we love to. We can't even have regular Sunday morning service in the temple as we love to. Hallelujah. So now the Lord is saying, we must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The Bible also says, let a man so examine himself. This is the hour of divine introspection. The Holy Ghost is inspecting our relationship is inspecting our walk, our talk. Hallelujah. Let us see who is really living. He's rebooting us. He's resetting us. He's giving us another chance, another hour to get it right and to live. If we don't get it right, we will be conquered by the adversary. Somebody declare he has our attention. Lord, I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much. In this reset, even though, even though Isaiah says, he says, even though our sins be as scarlet, he said in this reset, he's given us another chance. He said they shall be as white as snow. Somebody declare, wash me, Jesus. I am not your orthodox preacher. Lord, have mercy. I don't come here to impress anybody. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. But I'm here to speak to your spirit, man. I'm not here to speak to your flesh or to your, to, 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 to your head knowledge. I'm here to speak to your soul on tonight. Because time clock is striking the hour. Hallelujah. Don't allow your folly to keep you out of the kingdom of God. He said, though your, your, your sin be as scarlet, he says, come, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to make it white as snow. He said, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So God has given us an opportunity to get it right. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Glory sir. I don't know what the other preachers are coming with, but I'm going to declare what God has given unto me in my spirit. 
and in order for us to overcome the blood has to be upon us we must be washed in the blood and walk in holiness and walk in righteousness lord have mercy god i'm not talking about you having on a hat or you having on a long skirt or you being in your button-up shirt with your tie and your crisp pants hallelujah we can look good on the outside and be messed up on the inside God said, I'm coming after the heart. I have set the reset. Hallelujah. The heart. I am coming after the heart. For many have been caught up in religion and not in relationship. He said, I want a relationship. I'm giving us a chance to rebuild our relationship with him. Put away the vain glory. Put away the oblation and come into intimacy with yes, me sir. i want a relationship i am Hallelujah. doing a new thing in you somebody open your mouth and bless the name of jesus obi ashandia come on right here open up your mouth obi anshai and bless the name Alleluia. of jesus Alleluia. come on Zion. open up your mouth Alleluia. 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 my god we thank you jesus hallelujah he says hallelujah, hallelujah. He says, thank you jesus what a word god said oh, thank you do this Name. I will align, I will bring into the forefront mm. the apostolic, which is the government of God, the authority of God, the prophetic, which is the utterance, the speaking power of the Lord. I am bringing it into alignment. Jesus. Lord. I'm merging them Hallelujah. in order for glory to be released in the earth. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he said what we have been experiencing is not the kabod, is not my weight. In the back of Shiam and Zibahai. Uh, but it has been a form of, he said, a desire to release my glory, but in order for my glory to be released, man's agenda has to go. Somebody, somebody declare he has my attention. He has my attention. He has it. 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 He says, he says that he's bringing us into divine alignment. He says the reset, the reset start with the heart of repentance and humility. Elder A.R., my brother, in all of my walk with the Lord from the age of 16, and I'm now over 40 years old, in over all the years that I've been walking with the Lord, this is the first time that I have ever experienced and I've ever seen so much praying going on in the body of Christ. Y'all can correct me for those of you that have been in this longer than I have. The first I've ever seen so much crying out, 30 days of prayer, a hundred days of prayer, all night prayer, 40 hours of praying, nonstop, repenting. But with all that is happening, do God really have our attention? Are we truly praying his will and his word? Are we truly aligned to what he said, and are we truly listening to his instructions and obeying his leading? He says, do not move prematurely. 
because premature <laughs> movement will hinder the glory. Ubashaya. Are you hearing somebody? Premature movement will hinder the glory of God. There was a man by the name, I believe his name is Uzzah. When they were bringing back the Ark of the Covenant, and the Ark began to rock, because they were carrying it upon the back of oxen. Are you hearing me, somebody? And he saw the Ark about to tip over, and he moved. Good motive, good That's idea, surprising. wrong motive. Are oh, you hearing me, somebody? He shifted. And because of his shipment, caused him to die. I'm here to declare tonight, in this reset, do not move prematurely. It may cost you your life. And there is no repentance in the grave. Are oh, you hearing me, somebody? Premature movement will hinder the glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can we praise Jesus? I have never seen so much praying. The Lord is realigning us. And this realignment is causing us to stretch our faith in him. Now, businesses are shut down. Homes are on the verge of foreclosure. Cars are on the verge of being repossessed. Can find stuff to, to feed the kids. Now the kids are home. You're running out of food. You're running out of space for peace. Now you're being stretched. Now your prior time has been interrupted. Are oh, you hearing me, somebody? <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Uh, now your time, uh, everything in your house has been shifted because the normalcy of life is no more, no longer there. Uh, and now we have to begin to pray and say to the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? How can I move? How can I go? Where can I go? Tell me what you want. You got my attention. God, your word said in all my ways, I must acknowledge you. I was going according to my own knowledge. I was walking because I have the knowledge. Of, I know how to flip a dollar. Huh? I know how to, I know how to flip something and make it more. I didn't really have to come to you because I have the head knowledge. Now everything has been shut down. And now we got to go back to our source, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and say, Lord, what will you have me to do? Where shall I go? How shall I move? He has our attention. He is stretching our faith in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's stretching our faith. I'll be done soon. The Lord says, many are being stretched in prayer, in fasting, and in reading and the application of my word. He says, the church, the church is now in an uncomfortable place, an uncomfortable place. And, un and, and the uncomfortable place will cause us to rely solely upon him. But when you are uncomfortable, when you are uncomfortable, it will push you. It will push you to seek ways in which to become comfortable. Due to the uncomfortableness, it will stretch you to use muscles that you did not think you have. 
the uncomfortableness of the people will produce a move of God in the earth because it will force them to dig deep and pray. So what is happening right now, what is occurring unto us at this present time, it is forcing us to pray and seek the face of God like we have never sought his face before. He said, and through this, he said, my glory shall be released upon the people. You see, when you have been reset, you won't operate in the same capacity. When you have been reset, what was once in your system will no longer be there. Koban Siyadarohushaya. Ibahasio Ruba Shandai. That's why he said to Isaiah, I'm going to reset these people. Let them know that even though sins be as calling, come, I want to reason with you. He says, come. He said, and if you come and be willing, you will, willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. The reset of the Lord is going to cause us to prosper. It's going to cause us to walk into territories that before we did not have rights to walk in there. It's going to cause us to possess houses and land. Hallelujah. That we were not qualified jobs that we were not qualified to walk in. If we adhere to the Lord, he said, and be obedient and willing to say, God, you got my attention. He said, you shall have the cattle on a thousand heels. You shall live in houses that you don't have money to buy yourself. Somebody open your mouth. And declare, God, I will go where you tell me to go. I will do what you tell me to do. I will walk the way that you want me to walk. I will preach this gospel. I will evangelize. I will tell them there is a heaven to gain and a hell to lose. I will tell them that holiness is the only way. I will tell them that weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming. I will tell them that if you walk upright, the Lord of hosts will defend you. There is a way that the Lord has prepared on for us. Somebody declare, he got my attention. He got my attention. Good. God from glory. Mm. So, and I'm closing. He, he says, got me attention. He says, but if they refuse and they rebel, hmm. you shall be devoured by the sword. Now, the theme is talking about preparation for a battle, mm -hmm. being empowered to overcome the adversary, being empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost to conquer, to be strengthened, to grab a hold, to grab a hold of the enemy. The only way we will be able to overcome is when we adhere to the instructions of the Lord. You know, there's been a lot of rebellion, Pastor Walters, in the body of Christ. There have been a lot of rebellion mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. The pastor gave out instructions. You, who are you to tell me I'm a grown man? I'm a grown woman. Ah. You don't like it. We don't see you in church. And then all of a sudden you say, well, the Lord has called me to start my own ministry. No, you're in rebellion. You're rebellious. 
All of a sudden, in this season, I have never seen so much ministries popping up and so much renegades in the body of Christ as I am seeing now. I am submitted under authority. Yes, I am a pastor, but I have a pastor. And his name is Bishop Stuart Simmons of the Gospel-like Church of Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. So I am submitted on the authority. And if he tells me, do not preach anymore. Submit yourself. Don't go on no more platform. Guess what? I have to adhere. I don't know why he's telling me this. But I have to adhere. I won't question it. You're sitting on my ministry. You're trying not to make me shine. The devil is a liar. Tell you somebody. So there has been a lot of rebellion in the church. The other day I was in prayer and I'm closing. I was in prayer. And I shared this with my sister. And the Lord said to me, I am sending hard word to the preachers to the people because the word that I am sending will separate the wheat from the tear they will still be in the church they will still be in the same vicinity but there will be a demarcation a separation a reset he said because many drinking milk they have not been eating solid food so they get offended quickly I'm separating them he said those that are able to eat the word and will be the one that will be able to overcome so this hour in this reset there will be words that are coming from the Lord that will challenge us, it will cut us, and it will heal us. And when it hits you, it will not feel good to your flesh because it's not supposed to. But your spirit man will be strengthened. We cannot go into a battle weak. We must go into the battle strong and powerful, equipped to overcome the advancement of the enemy. Somebody declare, God, you got my attention. attention. Come on, everybody, unmute your phone. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. All over this place. Come and lift up your hands, open up your mouth, and begin to worship the Lord. We give you glory, God. We give you honor. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you have my attention, Lord. I pray. You will give you praise. You will walk in your Father, I thank you for the reason and the realignment. Father, I thank God that there be a release of a fresh anointing upon your people. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, Father, by the authority of the blood of Jesus, that we will not be defeated and we shall not miss another season oh god as Lord. you have our attention we submit Lord. unto you and we say yes lord in yes, the name lord. of jesus christ of Nazareth. back into the hands of the moderator hallelujah Amen. in jesus Amen. name be blessed be blessed be 